Hey crafters, I want to welcome you to the Crafty Maven Getaway and I am super super excited and really really thrilled to be the first Spotlight Sunday person. So Spotlight Sunday is really just a way for you to get to know us YouTubers sorry, <laughs> that are posting on this channel. And so we thought it would be fun for you to get to know us better since you love to watch us anyway, right? And who doesn't want to get to know your favorite YouTubers just a little bit more? I know I do. I love seeing face-to-faces. I can't guarantee all of these would be face-to-faces because I know not everyone loves a face-to-face. And that's fine. Um, but we all will be showing you our work and where you can find us at. And um, one thing I would suggest is maybe if you guys can in the comments below, um, ask, comment some questions that you would like to see us maybe answer in these spotlight videos. And we can do our best to try to answer a few of those questions while we're doing our videos. Just to make it more interesting and to make it more interactive. I really, really want this to be a place for you guys to come and be inspired and get inspiration and to just enjoy a place where all of us YouTubers are working together and giving you lots of stuff that you can use to learn and to just have fun and to enjoy watching scrappy videos just in one place. I know that, um, before you, we used to be able to go to you, go to two peas on YouTube, and now that two peas closed down, we don't have that anymore. So I'm hoping that this will close the gap a little bit. It's not really entirely like two peas because we are going to be using the same piece of inspiration throughout the week, but. And we really are behind the scenes talking and uh, working together so that we can, it feels like we are cohesive, like weak, you know. I really want you to feel like we're a whole bunch of friends bringing you this really fun crop that you get to watch. So let the journey begin and let your inspiration vacation begin. I know that's a little corny, isn't it? But I can't help it. I'm a little corny. So I hope that that doesn't bother some of you. I will try to tone it down just a little bit. But being really, really excited about this makes it kind of bubble up. <laughs> I want to start off by giving you some places that you can look um, and find out more of what we're doing and just so that you know places that we are posting and places that we are putting all this information out. Obviously, we will be posting everything to this YouTube channel, but we also will be linking our videos to our Facebook community page. It is like a blog. So everyone who does a post will just link their video and maybe a picture of their layout. And, you know, if you leave comments on there, uh, you might get lucky and they might answer you back. Um, so that is my hope is that that can be used also as another way to kind of talk with you guys and get feedback and then you guys can post stuff to the page as well. It just isn't going to be in the same place as where our stuff is. It won't be on the main page. But so that you guys can interact with us because I really want this to be an interactive thing. I want you guys to be inspired and we want to see what you guys are doing also. So you know, it's like we give you something and then you give us something back. So we're inspired so we can come back the next week and, um, you know, give you something even better. So that is my intention for this. Uh, and I think that Facebook, a lot of us are on Facebook and so it's a good way. Not everyone is, so, but um, it's a good place to kind of come and be a little bit of a hub besides YouTube, which is obviously our first love, right? <laughs> which is why we're all here. Uh, so that is the Crafty Maven Getaway Community Facebook page. So I'll make sure all the links are below in the information box. Yes. The next place that you can also find us at is we have a blog. Uh, pretty much it's going to be the same thing as the community Facebook page. So uh, we'll have a link to the video. We will have hopefully a layout picture or a project picture if it's not a layout, if it's a card or whatever. And 
also where you can find the other that youtuber so because this is a channel of, of its own maybe not everyone will be taking this video and posting it on their channel I know I probably won't because it's a lot to extra to do but um but then you will be able to find more videos from us just by following the link we also will have that information below in our videos as well so that you can Find us if you find a new YouTuber that you like and you want to check out more videos. I know I've been watched videos all the time. If I find someone new, I'll watch like 10 videos of theirs <laughs> all in one day. So, so you can do that as well. Uh, and the blog for that is www.thecraftymavengetaway at WordPress. No, dot WordPress. Don't do at. It's not an email. So it's www.thecraftymavengetaway.wordpress.com. So, and that is set up more like a calendar. So you'll be able to click on each page, each date, and you'll be able to see who posted a video. I tried to do it this way so that um, because we're posting a video every day, and some videos we even have two. Some days we even have two videos. Like, it's amazing. There's so many people. We are jam-packed with inspiration. I'm super, I hope you guys can see that I'm just bubbling with excitement. Um, so, yeah, some days we have two people posting. Um, so that's going to be really, really fun. So you'll be able to see who posted that day. And, you know, if it's someone that you are a style that you don't care about you can skip that day and watch the next day so that was my intention um we also are going to be on pinterest so you will be able to see inspiration that we're going to be using throughout the month and then you'll also be able to see the layouts that we are or projects that we're producing so i kind of hope that that would just be a place that if you're on pinterest you could pin what we're using and you can keep it in your pin board so that you can use the inspiration for yourself so, or if you're inspired by a layout or a project that somebody did, you can pin that as well. So we have that. So you can thank Rachel because she's the one who's, who's going to be keeping that really updated. Okay, so next thing, because, I mean, we're all watching this YouTube channel, right? So now you want to know, where can you find me? So you can find me, and I am Hannah Lemieux, and you can find me at Hannah Lemieux on YouTube. I will make sure I have all this information in below so that all you have to do is click on it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, come on over. I have tons of stuff. Um, I try to post a couple of times a week at least, so some weeks are a little bit less, but um, I definitely try to do a variety of different things, so hopefully that keeps you interested. And I'm fun anyway, right? I think I'm fun. <laughs> I'm fun. <laughs> I'm totally fun, guys. <laughs> Just trust me. I like to get messy <laughs> and use lots of layers. So the next place that you can find me, I also have a blog. I am not the best person to keep this up. I post maybe about once a month. So, but I do have a blog where I share some stuff. And usually I am a little bit more wordy on my blog than I am on my YouTube channel. Which is amazing because I have I can be wordy too on that um, so my blog is www.scrapbookpagesandcupcakes.wordpress.com so that's where you can find me you can also find me on Instagram I post almost every day on Instagram I check it all the time I am like an Instagram junkie I just like looking at photos and I love looking at inspiration. I think that's what it is, is I can find inspiration in one place and just scroll through and if I see something I'm inspired, I'll use it. So I'm Dandelion2002 at Instagram. So you can look me up if you are not friended me, right? I think that's how you do it, right? You friend, yeah. <laughs> you get the little person. So. We also will be trying to use a hashtag for the projects that we are doing for the Crafty Maven. Some of us who are on Instagram. And the, the hashtag that we're going to use is hashtag the Crafty Maven Getaway 
YT for YouTube channel. So I'll make sure that's below so you can look it up if you want to check out and see sneaks. There's not too many right now, but hopefully later on as more people are posting. And then as you guys are posting, you can use that as well. And we can go back through and we can see who is inspired to create layouts and projects too. So, and that really, like I said, that is really my hope is that we can be interactive. You watchers with us YouTubers, because we really want to be inspired just as much as you guys do. And what inspires us is to see you guys create things from what we've created. And even if it's just using a little teeny tiny bit of what you've seen us you do, um, that just inspires us even more to keep creating and keep making things. So, um, I believe that is all the information that you need to find me at, which is all the boring stuff, really. Well, not really. But I thought it would be really, really fun. Hopefully you can see this to show you what our inspiration is for this this week coming up. I know I posted it on our blog and I posted it on the community Facebook page, but if you guys haven't checked that out, no worries, you're not gonna miss the inspiration. So this is one of the pieces that we are using and it's a whole bunch of pillows and then there's another one that is pillows as well, but have pineapples on them. Nah, that one's really hard to see. I am really sorry for the glare. That's the only way I could figure out how to get it on here without doing the picture. I'll probably put a picture in. So that is our inspiration. I'm kind of sad that I don't get to use that inspiration this week. Maybe I'll make something anyway, just to be fun. So to close things off real quick, I would like to show you guys some of the stuff that I've worked on this past month or so. Uh, just so you guys can get an idea if you don't know who I am and you haven't seen my channel, you can get an idea of the kind of stuff that I create when I'm at my desk. This is my desk area. I'm a little bit low today, but it's, it's a mess. Let me tell you, it's a mess. I'm kind of messy when I'm working and then I clean up. But, um, so I just started doing Project Life not too long ago, a couple months ago. So I thought I'd share one of the spreads that I've done, and I don't think I've showed this on my channel, so you guys are pretty lucky because you're seeing this extra. Um, so here's one of the spreads that I did, and as you can see, I've used watercolor. Well, this is a stamp, but I've also used watercolor on here. I did watercolor here. I did some acrylic paint on this one. What is it? the slice on it and then the sequins, that's so cute. Um, I used a die cut from Amy Tan and then I drew this and then I used some markers and some watercolors and then some stamp to do that. So that was, that's one of my spreads. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. I really did not mean that. And then here's the other side. So really really fun uh, not all my project life has that much mixed media in it some of them do though so one of I love to use mixed media if it has paint on it the more paint the better right that's my motto maybe something like that but this one I really tried to be really simple because I don't do simple very often and so all I did was just did some splatters I'll make sure that I have a copy of the actual hard copy of it so that you don't see it all wobbly. But this is my daughter Leilani in the sand making sand angels. So that's one that I did not too long ago. Um, I also like to get really messy like this one. And this I did for the paper issues crop. They had a challenge and we had to use different items. So I use paints and then I use some paint in the embossing. Well, I used embossing powder on there, but then I also use modeling paste and I use paint in that. And then I use like crepe paper and this ribbon here. So just really fun about s'mores. 
And one I did just last week also has mixed media on it, and this is watercolor. It's the it's gel watercolor stuff. So nice and vibrant, and a gorgeous picture of the ocean because I live in Hawaii. So it's amazing. I like to do pictures of where I live. And then also one that I did the other night is this one, and this one also has paint on it. This is acrylic paint and then modeling paste with a stencil and some ribbon. And then I just took this uh, confetti paper and I cut it into strips like journaling and then put it all throughout. And I didn't do much to this because it didn't need much. But this is my daughter Leilani and she received her last chemo, IV chemo in the clinic the other day. So I wanted to make sure I documented that because yay, no more chemo is awesome, right? I hope you guys are looking forward to all the posts that are going to happen this week. Tomorrow is Mix It Up Monday, and so a great and talented YouTuber is going to be mixing it up, and I can't wait to see what she brings. Um, keep joining in. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe and all that fun stuff that YouTube has to offer. Here you comment below on questions that you would like us to answer so that we can try to answer them for you and make this really fun and interactive. Uh, we are super excited to get get going this week so make sure you come back tomorrow and the rest of the week and check out all the lovely YouTubers who are going to be doing their videos this week. I will see you guys later and I hope you guys have a great week. Aloha!